So Gardi is the name of our new supercomputer and we selected that name uh, last year because it was the year of Indigenous languages and we thought it was appropriate that an Australian supercomputer had an Australian name. Uh, the Gardi name actually means to search for in the local Ngunnawal dialect. When we went to market, uh, some of the technology that is now in Gadi uh, wasn't in production and wasn't available. So we're, we're sort of uh, betting on a promise almost um, of the latest technology from people like Lenovo and Fujitsu and NetApp and even Altair who do the scheduling of the, the jobs. So we've been working very closely with all the vendor partners to try and build a, a unique solution that will meet Australia's needs. Gadi will be used for uh, a number of different science disciplines uh, throughout the country. So as the National Supercomputer, we support science from the whole range of fields, from uh, astronomy, uh, climate and weather, uh, right through to cancer research. Um, increasingly, we're seeing science needing to do more and more simulations and modelling, and that's what the supercomputer is really good at. We have a collaboration between a number of major organisations here at the ANU. Uh, we work with uh, CSIRO, the Bureau of Meteorology, Geoscience Australia, as well as uh, some of our commercial partners, such as uh, Fujitsu, uh, who are a major contributor uh, to putting this whole project together. Gadi is made up of uh, 3,024 uh, compute nodes, which have the Intel Cascade Lake CPUs. We have another uh, 640 uh, NVIDIA NV100 GPUs. Uh, together, these are joined with a high-speed uh, InfiniBand fabric from Mellanox with the latest technology known as HDR, as well as a large amount of storage from NetApp, which we've joined uh, with a Lustre file system from DDN. So Gadi uh, was actually funded under the INCRIS program, which is run out of the federal government, and they provided $70 million as towards the capital for the purchase of the machine and some of the, the building works that are required to house such a, a large supercomputer and deal with the heat. But uh, the capital alone is not enough. In order to bring the, the new machine online, uh, a lot of work had to be done by a large number of people. Uh, we we're already running a, a supercomputer known as Rygen and we had to turn off parts of Rygen to bring the new Gardi system online. So it's been a little bit of a logistical nightmare, but the planning processes even to get started uh, have taken nearly two years. So from its first inception, when the money was awarded to us, uh, we've had to go out and do some planning, we've had to go through a procurement process, uh, which was quite rigorous, and selecting uh, the best in the world was also a little bit of a challenge because we're at the bleeding edge of what we do. The artwork was designed by a local Indigenous artist and she told us the story of uh, her inspiration of joining uh, Indigenous uh, knowledge with Western knowledge. You can see the two circles at either end coming together to form a fusion of, of knowledge. Also, you'll see the dark paths throughout the image, and they provide the guiding paths of where the knowledge intertwines and becomes one. And you'll also see the solid images across the, the center there, sort of a, a U shape, and these are, represent the elders of the community. And they're overseeing uh, the collaborative nature of this search for knowledge, which is what Gadi is all about. Getting access to Gadi is extremely important for Australian researchers to ensure that we're competitive uh, globally, but also for the nation's interest in actually promoting our science and helping our citizens uh, live in, in a better environment. Mm -hmm.